The Christian church began as a tiny, little, persecuted religion and grew into the most powerful force in the history of mankind. This is the most astonishing event that has ever happened. This video series answers the questions of how and why this happened. In our first video, we noted the growth of the early Christian church from a tiny handful of obscure people dwelling in the corner of the massive Roman Empire. They grew into the most powerful force the empire had known. In less than 400 years, they went from being a persecuted minority to the official religion of the empire. This is the most astonishing and important development in the history of the human race. But it would be a serious mistake to think that that growth was inevitable or that it was easy. We can't overlook the formidable obstacles the early church faced. To begin with, they were routinely murdered simply for being Christians. In Acts chapter 8, we find a man named Stephen, a deacon in the early church, uh, killed for his witness. And by the way, the New Testament was written in Greek, and the Greek word for witness is martyreo, and yes, we get our word martyr from it. Christians were persecuted by local governments, religious authorities, and by the empire itself. The early Christians were often executed for atheism. That's right, atheism. They were commanded to bow before a bust of Caesar and to acknowledge his divinity and to offer him worship. They were still allowed to worship Jesus, but they had to also worship Caesar. But many refused to worship Caesar. And so for denying the existence of the Roman emperor, denying that he was a god, they were executed for atheism. Christianity is the only world religion to grow in the face of opposition from the dominant culture. Islam spread because it was the religion of the dominant culture, the religion of the elite, the religion of the upper classes. The same is true with Hinduism and Buddhism, but not Christianity. It was opposed and persecuted by the dominant culture and society's elite. Yet it still grew in power and influence. It's the only religion that has ever done this. In addition, Christianity arose out of total obscurity. No religious leader in history has been as obscure as Jesus Christ. His following was tiny. He was from a small village in an unimportant country. He led no organization. He published no books. He had no army. He was hated by the local religious authorities. Not a single important person in the Roman Empire had the slightest idea who he was. Christianity did not start the way a religious faith is supposed to start. His own people, the Jews, were expecting a Messiah, but he was not the kind of Messiah they were expecting or wanting. He was a meek, humble, lowly servant of men, not a conquering king. He began the Christian faith by dying on a cross as a condemned criminal. He was a real disappointment to most, even his own disciples. The early Christian church faced many of the same problems the church faces today. The Roman world had a number of powerful competing religions. There was a wide variety of paganism that offered religious ideas that made you feel good about yourself or offered happiness or self-help instruction. Now, there were many philosophies that addressed deep questions. Uh, there were a variety of religions that offered a religion of works, good deeds, rituals, whereby you could save yourself, or at least, uh, hopefully, uh, offer you a better hereafter. Many religions in Rome were aggressive and well-funded. Many were the official religion of the government. As today, the Roman world was very religious, and many people took their religion very seriously. At the beginning, the church faced a great crisis that faces every religion, division. In Acts chapter 15, we read of a great controversy. One faction argued that for a person to enter the Christian faith, they had to first become a Jew and keep all the Jewish rituals, including circumcision. The Apostle Paul and other church leaders argued ferociously that a person is saved by faith alone and nothing else. He argued that you do not have to become a Jew 
or perform any rituals to become a Christian. Paul's side won out. If they hadn't, Christianity would have been stillborn. It never would have grown, and you and I would never have heard of it. Christians today face a wide array of persecution, obstacles, and competition. But we surely face no more than the early church did. The first Christians faced all this at a time when their numbers were tiny. Yet they emerged victorious, spreading a faith that is precious to us today, 2,000 years later, and has become the most powerful cultural and religious force of all time. This is the most astonishing thing that has ever happened in history. How on earth did this happen? In future videos, I intend to explore that question.